Damien's right. Seth and Don have reported on sort of the cracks in the relationship and how they do go back to really Tom Brady being sort of the third party and if you want to make it a triangle. Um, I think what concerns me the most about this report coupled with, excellent point by Damien, th this documentary, which, uh, you know, players have come out and said they all feel this same way too. This is right. unfair to Bill Belichick is, uh, Stephen, it's giving me Jerry Jones, Jimmy Johnson. It's not the same thing necessarily, but when you look at as a whole, everything being said and done and hinted at and reported around this off season, I I'm starting to cons be feel a level of concern that yeah. this relationship, this legacy, this dynasty is somewhat mm -hmm. being put at risk by some of the ways that Kraft is acting this offseason. Well, well, first of all, nothing puts the dynasty at risk. What's done is done. History will record Tom Brady yeah. is the greatest quarterback ever, six championships, nine Super Bowl trips, Bill Belichick to be an overseer of that organization from a football operations standpoint to do what he has done. He is clearly the greatest coach of the modern era. There's nothing that's going to stain or taint that. That is cemented, okay? I'll even go a step further. But I'm going to throw a twist into this. You know, one of my boys is Rodney Harrison. I, I love this man. He does a great job on NBC. Obviously, he was in New England doing his thing, along with yourself and various others. All of y'all are aligned and in unison. As a credit to you, Woody. All of y'all are saying the same thing about what happened to Bill Belichick. Totally got I got that. What I'm saying is something different, however. While not disputing that, it's one thing for Bill Belichick to have that relationship with y'all. It is entirely plausible that that same Bill Belichick, if you ain't a player on the field playing for him, if you're not one of the coaches under his dominion, he's like, scoot, scoot away, get out of here. What, what do I need with you? Similar to what Jerry Jones may have felt with Jimmy Johnson. Now, the difference between Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson compared to Kraft and Belichick. Look at what Jerry Jones and Jimmy Johnson's relationship was. Spanning from their days in Arkansas, knowing each other for decades, ultimately inheriting a, a Dallas Cowboys squad that had a 1-15 in season and building that in the back-to-back -back championships and ultimately three Super Bowl rings in four years with Barry Switzer coaching the third Super Bowl. So if you're Jerry Jones, you're looking at it and you're saying, okay, you might have a reason to be salty because of the way you were treated, but damn, let it go. Don't hold on to it. Don't keep Jimmy Johnson out of the ring of honor for damn near 30 years. That's just egregious. In this case, what are we talking about here? We're not just talking about you know, what kind of relationship may have deteriorated. We're also talking about Spygate. We're talking about the Flategate. We're talking about the stain of that, which Robert Kraft was outspoken about and very appalled by. We're also talking about the, 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 the exit of the greatest quarterback who ever lived in Tom Brady. Kraft wanted him to stay. And Kraft literally said, quote, if Tom Brady, if Bill Belichick had wanted Tom Brady to stay, we would have worked it out. Bill Belichick didn't want to do that. And so when you look at the residue from that, the residue from that, that's going to make somebody like Kraft salty is all I'm trying to say. That's reasonable, y'all. That's not a crime. If you think that this man literally has made the last five years, four plus five years or so, absolutely positively miserable. Plus, he spent years dismissing you, shooing you away, because you're really not a part of this. It's me and the players and my coaches. It's really not you. Just, just cut the check and move the hell out the way and go up in your suite and watch what we do. You know, if, if you got that kind of attitude, which is not beyond the realm of comprehension with Bill Belichick, that might make you a bit salty. And last point, Damien, I believe wholeheartedly Bill Belichick, there is no excuse why Jerry Jones should not have hired him as the head coach for the Dallas Cowboys. You talk about Jerry Jones wants the camera, Bill Belichick don't. You talk about those players being reeled in and focused and locked in on football instead of all of the ancillary uh, distractions, definitely Bill Belichick was the man for that job. But if that's not the case, you got these organizations with young executives trying to prove their mettle. Bill Belichick has forgotten more football than they know, and they know it. And they know the second he arrives, it's going to drastically dilute yeah. and diminish the power they want to have. It makes yeah. perfect sense why they didn't want him. Perfect okay. sense. I want to give Mina a chance to respond here to what you just said, Stephen A. 
Uh, well, I agree with you about uh, Bill Belichick and the Cowboys. So <laughs> at the end there, I was, I was nodding. Um, I, you're, what, what you're saying, if I'm hearing you right, is because of how Bill Belichick has handled the last four to five years in New England, Robert Kraft has some justification to be salty with him. Um, I don't disagree. It really did feel like the relationship had run its course. What I take issue with, the premise of this debate we're having, is whether that justified Robert Kraft picking up the phone, calling Arthur Blank. The story doesn't say he was asked, by the way. It says he called him and saying, don't hire this man, which again, he has denied. I want to be clear, We're, you know, to be fair to him, um, saying don't trust him. That to me is taking it a bridge too far. It's one thing to have, you know, your feelings about your working relationship. It's quite another to stop him from getting the only, to throw a wrench and potentially the opportunity to get the only job that was apparently available to him, if that is what happened. If that's what happened, I would agree with you. That's a bridge step too far. Absolutely correct. To pick up the phone, not be called, but to pick up the phone and say, don't hire the man, don't trust the man. If Robert Kraft did that, he should be he should be condemned for it without question. Now, he says he didn't. The point is with Bill Belichick, you just never know.